Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our dark and gripping journey into the twisted minds that have plagued our history. Today, we delve into the depths of human depravity, exploring the life and crimes of one of America's most infamous serial killers, Jeffrey Dahmer. Brace yourself, as we uncover the chilling story that will leave you both horrified and intrigued. A predator lurking in plain sight, the mere mention of Jeffrey Dahmer sends shivers down our spines even decades after his arrest. Born on May 21, 1960, in Milwaukee, Dahmer showed early signs of a troubled existence. As a child, he embraced dark fantasies, collecting roadkill and dissecting their remains with an eerie fascination. But it was during his teenage years that Dahmer's descent into madness truly began. A loner, plagued by turbulent emotions, he sought solace in bizarre and twisted fantasies that would soon manifest into something far more sinister. By the 1980s, the infamous Milwaukee cannibal had transformed into a remorseless predator, targeting young men for his unspeakable desires. Dahmer's modus operandi involved luring his victims into his lair, sedating and then ultimately murdering them. What followed would send shockwaves through the nation. Dahmer's reign of terror finally came to an end on July 22, 1991. His capture exposed a house of horrors, where the stench of death lingered in every corner. Authorities discovered gruesome evidence, including Polaroid photographs of dismembered bodies and a gruesome collection of preserved organs and skeletons. The gruesome details emerged one by one, painting a grotesque picture of Dahmer's sadistic rituals. The sheer brutality of his acts is both horrifying and fascinating, leaving us to ponder the darkest corners of the human psyche. Dahmer's trial shocked the nation, but it was during his chilling confession that the true depths of his madness were revealed. With a disturbing matter-of-factness, he described his crimes and the motivations that drove him. Dahmer's words cast a disturbing spell over the courtroom, forever etched in the minds of those present. The tale of Jeffrey Dahmer forces us to question the thin line that separates sanity from sheer insanity. How does one become a monster? Could this darkness lurk within any one of us? These are the haunting questions that linger after the dust settles on the final chapter of Dahmer's story. Since his death in prison in 1994, Dahmer's legacy continues to captivate the world. Psychologists, criminal profilers, and scholars tirelessly dissect his motivations, searching for clues in his upbringing, mental state, and the societal factors that enabled his murderous spree. Today, Dahmer's notoriety extends beyond the walls of the courtroom. His Milwaukee residence, once a house of horrors, has become an attraction for those with a morbid fascination for true crime. Guided ghost tours take visitors on a chilling journey through the rooms that once held the secrets of Dahmer's unfathomable acts. As we come to the end of this macabre exploration, Jeffrey Dahmer will forever remain an enigma, reminding us of the darkness lurking within humanity. While justice prevailed in his case, the scars he left behind are still too fresh to fade away. We must confront these horrors, not to glorify, but to learn from the depths we are capable of sinking to, and to ensure that the shadows of Dahmer's legacy are never repeated in our society. Join us next time as we venture even further into the abyss of history's most chilling tales. Until then, remember. Evil rarely wears a mask. It is often hidden behind the ordinary faces we encounter every day. We must confront these horrors, not to glorify, but to learn from the depths we are capable of sinking to, and to ensure that the shadows of Dahmer's legacy are never repeated in our society. It is through understanding the darkest aspects of human nature that we can strive to create a world where such atrocities are unimaginable. By shining a light on the hidden evils that lurk behind ordinary faces, we empower ourselves to recognize and address the potential for darkness within us all. Let us not turn away from the uncomfortable truths of history, but rather use them as a catalyst for change and a reminder of the importance of compassion and empathy in our daily lives.